Welcome to It Takes Two. I'm Blair. I'm Chris. And today we'll be talking about Big Brother Season 25, Episode 15. What's good with y'all, man? Make sure y'all subscribe, like, share, comment. Don't be selfish with the content. Share it. Share with your friends. Share with your enemies. We need all of y'all mm-hmm. to come together and give us a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Continue. All right. So we start off with Cam and Red on the block. Yeah, yeah. This is Cam's third time on the block. Man, he's tired of this block, man. Yes, he's but, third. But he's a survivor. Mm-hmm. He's a survivor. He's so far, it, it, listen, if it's your third time on the block, that means you keep coming back. Mm-hmm. So, you know, there's a positive side. There's there's a positive spin to it, I guess I'm trying to do. Yeah. But go ahead. So Red thinks being nominated next to Cam was Cam's idea based off of what Jared was telling him. I don't know what Jared be doing on this show, to be honest. Jared just be digging himself into holes that his mom has to clean up. Like, he's going to be the death of her. It's not even a hole. It it was just an unnecessary thing you had to tell Red, basically. It Mm -hmm. it just like, oh, okay, it is what it is. Like, they know they are friends. They know they are partners in in, in the sense of they really like each other. Mm -hmm. So, by Big Brother rules... We got to divide the two people that like each other. You ain't got to make it seem like, hey, you know, so-and-so really wanted you on the block. Like, like mm-hmm. they, they both on the block. Exactly. So We getting rid of one of them. So, so What's this all extra stuff? Exactly. And, like, why would I want you on the block and me? Mm-hmm. Like, if I just wanted you on the block, I just have you on the block. I'm sitting right next. I'm in the same position you are. Right. And But Red, he, he ain't show himself to be discerning in, like, in like that Or moment. even try to clarify yeah, nothing. Like he, Jeez. But yeah. Yeah. So Jag is still uneasy about that 10 0 eviction. Get over it, buddy. Uh, he's saying that he's still working with seven deadly sins. Um, he's willing to work with them, even though he can't trust Sari not to go ahead and spread information. That's Jared's fault. Yeah. But truth be told, Sari, you shouldn't have told your son. Mm-hmm. But I understand y'all playing y'all own game within the game. Mm-hmm. But Jared did not defend you very well in keeping that information. And Sari, like, I understand. But I think you need to think about the game further than you and your son get to the end. Exactly. For real. I really do think that Sari needs to put Jared on a need to know basis, not a want to know or nice yeah. to know. Yeah, yeah. Because that's your son, you love him, but your son he be talking too much and you know it. Mm-hmm. Put him on need to know. Yeah. If something affects him or or whatever, but yeah, cuz he's just messing making things messy. Facts. Um next, Red is going through it mm-hmm. he is crying boohooing stressed the hell out mm-hmm. in uh one of the rooms uh just thinking about cam and their relationship and just how cam is just throwing it all to the wayside based off of what jared said not actual facts exactly <laughs> so sari is encouraging red and showing him some love and just wants him to know that look we love you like don't let this get you down while in the meantime, they all believe in this fake alliance, though. So, mm-hmm. like, she's lying to him. Right. Mm-hmm. Next, we have Jared and Cam talking. Um, Cam says that he trusts Jared and will help make Jared's goal happen this week mm-hmm. of getting rid of Red. But the thing is, Cam doesn't really want Red to go. And if one of them comes off the block, he's going to make sure the other one stays. So, if he gets off, he's going to be campaigning for Red and making mm-hmm. sure he stays. Because also, the name of the game is telling people what they want to hear. Yeah. So, Cam is saying all this stuff to Jared. He don't mean none of it. No. And Jared is running with it like it's fact. Mm. And, and then, on top of that, like, they just need to be some, re- they just have to be some reality to it, to this reality show. Is that, bro, we're both on the block. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I... I, I didn't say anything about I'd rather you be on the block or or like I'd rather you go home. I ain't put it that way. I just basically say we both on the block. Yeah. Who would I rather stay? Me. Yes. <laughs> Who would I rather make the money? Me. Me. Like, like, <laughs> like, 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 like it has nothing to do with you at all. Mm-hmm. Continue. Next, we uh, have this Jared and Corey. A conversation so apparently Corey made a final two deal with jared and um, when they were both on the block at the beginning of the season mm-hmm. and uh, jared considers Corey to be the fourth person in line of who he um of who he would go to the end with after his mom izzy and blue so basically you're nobody <laughs> you're number four to to jared Corey. Uh, Jared's your number two. Okay. Okay. Uh, so Corey is trying to reassure Jared that he is his number one. Tara don't really care, but okay, Corey, you got to do your your part. Mm-hmm. So he wants to keep America, and Jerica, Jerica, Jared is saying America is not helping. 
She's not trying in competitions. He thinks she's throwing competitions. And Corey's saying that if she won, she'd probably put up a combination of Felicia, Izzy, or Sari. You ain't lying. And then Jared says, well, if you're coming after my people, then I don't need to have you in the house. Jared thinks he's like, Jared won one HOH competition, and he just obviously feel like he's like the big. Listen here. Y'all already let go of the best player that could have been this season. Mm-hmm. The lead man in charge. Shout out to Heisem. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Listen here, Jared. You in one competition. And number one, you're not focused. You over here. I don't even know how you got a relationship with this woman, Blue, mm-hmm. and things like that. You can't keep nothing to yourself. No one really sees you as a threat. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So he's walking around basically saying, like, there's no need to keep you in the house. Jared, you <laughs> you don't want anything. Your mother do. Exactly. So if, if she wants to keep Corey, mm-hmm. Corey will be kept. Yeah. So, like, I don't really understand where Jared's coming from. But, you know, shout out to Jared. And also, Jared didn't win this HOH on his own volition. Exactly. Everybody, he- else, everybody else lost it. <laughs> And Izzy hit the wrong button. You didn't win because you got something right. I mean, I'll give you your props and you're just due, your HOH. But let's not get big headed here like we actually like did something here. Come on, bro. So we are having the uh, players in the veto competition. They all choose. So we've got Felicia, America, Matt, Cam, Red, and Jared who are all playing. Hey, listen here, man. In, in, In this veto, I'm like, oh. The worst person to win this would be Cam. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm thinking. Because I'm like, oh, he's going to take himself off the block. And that means that, one, Red is definitely going to go home. Mm-hmm. Because that means Jared got nominated somebody else, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm like, dad, that means Red go go home. But if that's the case, like, that's another week that Cam survives. Mm -hmm. So they got the numbers. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Who are like the people competing in this veto again? Felicia, America, Matt, Cam, Red, and Jared. So basically, outside of Red and Cam, Mm -hmm. everybody else need to win. Yeah. (laughs) You get us? Even America, who's not really in any alliance. Yeah, because you... Exactly. You on the radar, sis. So basically, it's like the worst person to win... Is Cam. Not even Red. If Red wins, it won't even be that bad, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. But because he would think that he's like still got the alliance, the fake alliance that well, he Well, they had. both think that Cam and Red feel like they've got Legend 25 behind their back. But and Red really feel like he got it. He really does. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, <laughs> I, I, think, I think Cam knows that mm-hmm. he got it, and even though he may be fooled by it. But we heard Red in Confessional saying, hey, look, we got the numbers. Yeah. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You ain't got the numbers. So the worst person win is Cam. Mm-hmm. You're you're not about to tell me Cam won. Well, let we've got a little bit more to go. Okay. So they're talking, you know, a little bit before the competition starts. And Jared says that he feels like if America's throwing the competition, he's gonna put her up. Mm. Why why are you doing this? It's called power. <laughs> no, that's what Big Brother's doing. They are ah. they are showing that's why like they have this little thing to where it's funny. I'm over here talking about Big Brother as if like this is not like my well, you're first a pro now. Yeah, I don't think I am. Okay. But but they have this thing called H O H and it makes you feel powerful. Mm-hmm. And then there's a rule to where you can't be H O H consecutive weeks. Because trust me, you'll get drunk with power and you just start doing things and you just start putting people on the block. Like America you have no reason to put America you actually need to put somebody who's actually gonna be a threat. Yes. If she's throwing competitions and things like that. Who cares? You, and then on top of that, if Corey's your fourth person and he's telling you he is number and he and if he's telling you you're his number one, mm-hmm. why are you creating enemies for no reason? Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? This ain't the time to make enemies. There's still a lot of y'all in the house. Yeah. And <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So like it, it it just it just strange. That's true. And then Corey, he goes to talk to America and tells her, You need to try your hardest because people think you're throwing competitions. And America is cracking up because she's like, This is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. It is though. <laughs> And uh, so we get to starting the com- competition, which is the comic first competition. Mm-hmm. They clean up toxic sludge. So it's the miniature um, competition where they have to use these little tweezers to build up 36 barrels yeah, yeah. of these little things. So who wins? Oh, first, before we get to who wins, is Jared going to be able to see that America's trying? I, 
Who knows? He can't see because they're all in this competition individually. Who knows? So how is he going to be able to tell if she's I think, trying hard? I think he's talking about like that. I, I don't understand what Jerry be talking about. And he and he be leaving me in the dark. I don't know if he means like she's throwing HOH competitions the way they all there together. No, I think he's saying she's throwing all of them and she's not pulling her weight and helping by winning stuff. But I will address that in literally 30 seconds. Who won? Cam. Cam wins. So basically everybody's throwing competitions. <laughs> Jared, you're throwing competitions because you won one. Exactly. <laughs> so like like what do you mean like everybody's not what do you mean she's not pulling her weight? Mm-hmm. Your team's not pulling their weight. Whenever it came down based on what's been going on these past 15 episodes, mm-hmm. whenever it came down to where y'all needed to win a veto, mm-hmm. y'all lost. Yeah. Every time. When when it was a a a, a position to where Heisem and things like that you, Y'all had to backdoor heist him to get him out. Yeah. Because y'all knew that y'all couldn't... Y'all up. couldn't beat him. No. <laughs> no. So don't give me this whole speech talking about, like, you know, you're throwing competition. Jared, I remember that competition where you went one-on-one with Heisen, and you thought the answer was one thing, and you rushed to that door. Didn't even look at all the clues. You didn't even look at all the clues, and you lost. Mm-hmm. So, like, stop it. Like, just stop it. But continue. Yes. So... All the girls are sitting around talking yeah. about possible nominees and America walks up while they're having this conversation. Mm-hmm. Felicia says to America's face, maybe you might go up. Says that to America. Power. Why are you saying that to her, Felicia? I don't even understand that. <laughs> so finally, America gets to talk to Jared. She's like, this is too much craziness going on. Corey telling me something. Felicia telling me to my face. I might be on the block. Jared, I need to talk to you. Mm-hmm. So um, they're talking about the pressure cooker competition where it was America and Cam. And America made a deal with Cam to basically keep herself and Corey safe. Um, and uh, Jared is using that as the reason why he thinks that you might just make a deal. Mm-hmm. You might throw the competition because mm-hmm. you're just over here just not even trying. And she was like, I was in there for hours way longer than you that's what i that, that's what i don't understand what do, what am i throwing what do you mean throwing competitions i if it was a uh, a uh, uh, if, if there just wasn't a winner and loser mm-hmm. i beat you yeah what am i throwing yeah you in most of these competitions you came after me mm-hmm. so are you throwing competitions mm-hmm. because I'm. I was in that pressure cooker thing longer than you was. Yeah. So I. I don't understand this whole, this whole thing. Next, Jared brings up that he's been hearing that she'd put up Felicia, Izzy, or Sari if she were to rent to win, and America saying no, I wouldn't do that. No. That's what you're supposed to say. Good job, America. Yeah. Good job, line. <laughs> and then America said that she has been playing her hardest this whole time mm-hmm. and just hasn't been winning stuff, just like you, Jared. You've been trying very hard. <laughs> you ain't. You was. You was in the uh, the bottom in the nominees the first week. Mm, because you and guess what, America wasn't right. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like, yeah, he's getting drunk with power. Next, uh, Red and Cam have a little conversation, but it mm. was a conversation about nothing. Yeah, it was just basically like it was basically fake. Yeah. So mm. Cam is sitting there saying like, Red, you know. I'm looking out for you. I'm looking out for me. Like, we're going to get through this thing. And Red said that there is an issue between us, but he's going to put it on ice. He's not ready to talk about it right now. And essentially, Red breaks up with Cam. Sure. (laughs) Listen here. There shouldn't be no bromance on here anyway. Mm -hmm. We need to win. Right. It's $750,000 on the line. I'm not here to be no bromance anyway. But even though... Like you bringing up with me for something that I didn't even say you, we talking and you over here fake talking to me. Yeah. You ain't talking to me like how you've been talking to me these past weeks, like bros and things like that. You kind of talking like, Hey man, <laughs> we both on the block. You won. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like you get up. So it's like, he's like, we go get through this. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So I don't know what red was expecting. Was he meant like, did he want it cam to say, I'm going to take you off the block. I don't think Red expected that, but maybe he thought Cam would come clean and say, I said this, but Cam Cam never said that. He's like, like, what are we talking about? Mm -hmm. So continue. So Sari thinks that maybe Jag should go up since Jag doesn't trust her now. Uh, She's thinking back to the situation about how Matt told her the information about uh, the power being used Mm -hmm. on Jag. She went to tell Jared 
and Jared went to tell Jag, and then it came back to her mm-hmm. that uh, Jared was was misspreading information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's saying, mm, and not only that, but also Jag was voted out 10-0, so he may not trust us fully. Mm-hmm. He could be a wild card. Yeah. So Reed's talking to Jared, saying Jag is scorned, um, and he might actually be the best person to put up. So we have the seven deadly sins meeting Mm -hmm. and uh, blue brings up "Mm, maybe Jag, maybe you should go up as a pawn. Um, And Jag is agreeing. He said, I want to show to my group that I trust them. This is a Mm -hmm. trust exercise to let them know uh, no hard feelings from last week. So go ahead, use me as a pawn. um, And I'm going to be a team player about this. Now, Jag and Red are on the block. Oh, boy. Now, listen here. If that was me, thank God I'm not on that because I'd be like, yes, Jag, you're not going nowhere. Mm-hmm. And guess what I'm doing? What? Jag is out of there. Yes. Just just off the strength that, you know what? You trust me a little too much. Jag kind of messes up for me. It's kind of not your fault. But guess what? At the end of the day, Siri is running that house to a T. Mm-hmm. Right? And what happens is I think a lot of people are getting drunk off of her power because mm. they cause they part of her group. You get what I'm saying? So they think so, for Sari, they good. So, so basically, exactly. That's why Jarek is some of these meetings and have meetings and things like that and talk as if he's the big honcho, but really he's being controlled by the puppet master. Mm-hmm. That's why Felicia can feel comfortable just saying, America, maybe you go up. Mm-hmm. Because she's like, I'm part of... I'm, she uses her, she's borrowing Sari's power and influence to basically try to stir to to, to stir some fear. Mm-hmm. But really, no one's scared of Felicia by herself. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Truth be told, nobody really has a problem with Felicia or Sari or 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 really Sari. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So that's why I think the reason why because I don't think a lot of people really figured out that Sari's really 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 playing puppet master. Mm-hmm. I think they. Don't like the fact that like America, she just want to break them up. Yeah, but I don't really think she realized how deep it goes mm-hmm. and how influential Sari is to the whole house. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Even even with Corey, mm-hmm. even with Corey, continue. Yes. So we're in episode 16 now. This is a uh, eviction uh, episode, right? Right. Uh-huh. And Jag is on the block. Cam says that he's going to keep fighting for Red. Um, from where he's at off the block safely. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I, I ain't fight for you so much by taking me off the block. I mean, by taking you off the block. Right. I took me off the block. Right. So Jared and Jag are talking and Jared is telling Jag, like, look, you're the pawn, trying to make him feel comfortable. Jag is a little bit nervous, um, but he's saying you have nothing to worry about. Yeah. And Izzy saying that she's kind of okay with keeping Red if Cam and Red's bromance are done. Um, These are numbers they can have for their side. Mm -hmm. They can actually try to use this Legend 25 alliance, um, even though it's not necessarily the real alliance. Mm -hmm. So they're starting to to think that maybe we can keep red. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I ain't believe it, though. Mm -hmm. I don't believe nothing out of anyone's mouth on that side except for for Mm (laughs) Sari. You get what I'm saying? So, but I see the logic. Yeah. Um, we get a little um, snippet of Corey and America getting closer. Mm-hmm. They're actually official boyfriend and girlfriend now. Um, and uh, they're just enjoying each other. She's kind of molding him into the man that she wants him to be. So yeah. cute stuff. Um, but y'all need to be careful because they're going to try to split y'all up if they see y'all up under each other too do, much. Do you know who I see really as a threat? Who? Like, I think we're falling too comfortable with this person and... And America probably love this person because, like, they just cool and things like that. Mm -hmm. Izzy is the biggest threat in the house. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because she knows the secret. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't trust her. Like, Sari, I think Sari is already planning. If Mm -hmm. not already, I'm going to get her out the house. Yeah, but she has to wait. She can't do it now. She has it's, to wait till it makes sense. So Izzy doesn't call it out. It's too early. Yeah. Because you still got America in the house. You still got Corey in the house. You uh you uh you uh potentially got Jag still in the house. Mm-hmm. I don't think the news would really affect Felicia, even Bowie James. Sometimes you forget Bowie James gonna be there. Yeah. Me Cole might win the whole thing because I forget she's on the show. 
sometimes she just mm-hmm. she just there. Yeah. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like yeah. she ain't Playing a threat. Low, low. She ain't a threat mm-hmm. to nobody. No one accusing her of throwing any competitions mm-hmm. and things like that. She ain't winning anything. Yeah. But she might make it to the end just off the strength of they be like, We eliminate everybody. Then she just come out the bathroom like <laughs> Where? Like, oh, we forgot you was in here. Yeah, like, like, so, so be mm-hmm. be careful of be careful of Izzy, mm-hmm. uh, because she's the one that got that that trump card of knowing the secret. Yeah. So we uh, call together a Legend Twenty Five meeting, and wow. uh, they're doing it to make Red and Cam feel comfortable. Uh, Nicole thinks that this meeting is actually kind of premature. Um, she's thinking that it might actually bring Red and Cam together. Mm. Um, and she's hoping that they stick to the plan this week of getting rid of um, Jag. So, yeah. Get rid of Jag was the plan? Yeah. They switched the plan to getting rid of Jag because they wanted to keep Red and, and Cam in the house. Yeah, I, I don't think so. Because the, yeah. more, the more you keep them together, mm-hmm. the more you give them a chance to make up. Yeah. Or make up mm-hmm. uh, Cam not thinking anything to be made up mm-hmm. and they may be a force together. And like you said, like y'all not winning competitions. Mm-hmm. So even when you do put these people on the block, they are getting themselves off the block because Matt ain't winning nothing. Mm-hmm. Sari ain't winning nothing. Jarris barely winning anything. Nicole, you're not winning anything. Mm-hmm. So we can't really count on y'all to really backdoor anybody because y'all not winning these vetoes. Mm-hmm. But go ahead. Yeah. So Felicia and Nicole are talking and Felicia is saying that she really doesn't want Cam and Red to reunite. Nicole thinks that they will probably come back together and mend their um, differences over time because men tend to get over stuff pretty quickly Mm -hmm. and frequently. So if that's the case, then you got to get rid of Red. Then you you really can't stick to the plan of getting rid of Jag. You got to get rid of Red. Yeah. Yeah. So Red and Jared get to talking and Red wants to confirm what Cam said exactly to Jared. Um, And Jared is saying that Cam brought up the idea of putting them together and he just sticks to his story. Uh, Red says that he eventually wants to hash things out with Cam and, and have the conversation about what was said. Eventually. Mm-hmm. Why are you going to Jared to see what was said? Exactly. You already heard what he said. Go to Cam and be like, this is what was said that you said. Mm-hmm. Like, you get what I'm saying? I'm all, Look, I'm already on the block myself. You might as well just tell me what what you said. Right. And then Red, like, you know, people in this house lie and try to break up couples and friendships and all that type of stuff. Like, come on, Red, get your, head, I, get your head in the game. I don't understand. Don't just believe Jared. I feel like these people don't watch the show. Yeah. I don't watch the show. I'm, I'm really in line. <laughs> So we've got Jared, Felicia, and Izzy. Mm-hmm. Uh, Red, uh, he's Jared is telling them that Red is trying to confirm what Cam said, and Felicia is saying that they need to go with their initial plan and get rid of Red. Yeah, you gotta go with your initial gut. Yeah, go with your initial gut, even if it's wrong. Mm-hmm. You don't want to go with any regrets and be like, oh, we should just stick to the original plan. Just go with whatever. Yeah. Truth be told, we can do without both of them. Mm-hmm. But, but it's 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 gonna be interesting because. <sighs> Like, you get rid of Red, you kind of expose yourself that this alliance is not real. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? At least the Cam. Yeah. You get what I'm and saying? And he knows he's actually out here fighting for himself. And truth be told, you have to get Cam out next week. Mm-hmm. So, because you already failed keeping him on the block. You do, 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 you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Y'all lost that veto. So, if anything... If y'all decide to go through and get rid of Red instead of instead of Jack, you you show that this alliance is fake, mm-hmm. and then you have the potential of having a motivated Cam in the house. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Got some fire up under him. And y'all haven't proven as a team that y'all can win in these competitions, even though y'all have the numbers. Yeah, I'm not. We're not even depending on one person. To win, we just depending on one of y'all to win. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> somebody on this side yeah. of the house. And and y'all have it shown throughout that veto mm-hmm. that y'all can win. So, listen here, there is a consequence to both. Me honestly, I probably would have. I know Felicia said go with your gut. Mm-hmm. I understand why people want to change. Mm-hmm. I probably would have went with Jag. Mm-hmm. I probably would have eliminated Jack because he's going to feel scorned. There was a scene to where there was like 
if you eliminate Jack, what is stopping Jack from saying, don't trust Izzy, Felicia, Sari? You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? People already know that. Yeah. There's people in the house that already kind of know that already. Mm-hmm. So that's not really a threat. The reason why I, I, it's hard to eliminate Red is because Cam is a strong player. I thought Matt would be a strong player than what he is, but he's just there for the looks, I guess. Mm-hmm. But getting rid of Jack, would probably, I probably would have flip-flopped and went with Jack. Mm-hmm. But continue. Right. So we'll go ahead and get on to the votes. Oh, boy. And it is an 8-2 vote. Mm. And Red is evicted. Cam mm. and Bowie Jane both voted to evict Jag instead and of Red. You know what's crazy? Mm-hmm. Like, Red heard that. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? And I don't even think, because I'm kind of jumping a little bit, but I'm only jumping a couple minutes before. And, like, I know you will bring it up. Mm-hmm. I think he heard 8-2. Mm-hmm. And it didn't even cross his mind that one of those votes is Cam. Yeah. Like his 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 friend was still having his back to the end. Yes. Like, because mm-hmm. when he was interviewing at that part, it was some part where he was like, you know, like he turned, he turned his back on me. Yeah. He said he feels most betrayed by Cam. And and even Julie said, well, you know, Cam was one of the ones that, that kept, voted that for, voted you. for so, you. So it, it and he, and he, it's not registering. And he him. didn't even have a real good response to that. He was just like, betrayed. You know, <laughs> so like I think he could usually. Uh-huh. I think you taught me that once, er, once even if majority of people mm-hmm. want to evict somebody, they just automatically go to a un to a unanimous vote to protect people. Yeah, so nobody's like, oh, so we know where the split is. We yeah, exactly. know who's not on our side. Exactly, and we'll we're gonna come for y'all next. But now mm-hmm. you're starting to see the thread starting to come out a little bit. Mm-hmm. Like it wasn't no. Like it wasn't no, and that and that shows you this. Cam now knows, and he looked he looked depleted. He, he looked, looked so he, sad. Even though I was like, "Why are you sad, bro? You don't know this guy." But mm-hmm. but he looked depleted. But I think it's a lot of things. I mm-hmm. think number one, his boy is gone. He really like he really like uh uh red red, mm-hmm. and he's alone. Yeah, I think he knows like, oh, I don't have Legend Twenty Five. Yeah, that's not real. Yeah, like. Like they just let me out here to vote any kind of way. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And that's how and guess what? Bowie Jane should feel the same way too. Yeah, well the thing is Bowie Jane, I don't feel like you can tell Bowie Jane nothing because I don't <laughs> think she takes this serious enough to to not say anything or mm-hmm. whatever. Because remember when they were doing the bye bye bees group and they were talking about stuff and she was like, Well, I gotta leave the room because I don't want people to know something, something, something. And it's just like she's you're she's like, a little erratic. I like, don't know what to expect. You're from like, her. first of all, you already know too much information. We can't let you leave. Literally, we can't yeah. let you leave. So <laughs> so Cam just looks so depleted, he looks so sad that not only is Red gone, but he's by himself. And he knows it. He knows that. And when they were showing the videos and things like that, Cam, they even showed the video of Cam. He was like, man, if you're seeing this man, tonight went completely how I did not want it to go. Mm-hmm. And things like that, I'm paraphrasing. And basically, he let her know, like, you are my buddy. You my friend. I basically, like, you know, I loved you to the end. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I and it just seemed like it wasn't registering to, to Red that he was being played. I think Red, he'll have to go back and watch the episodes yeah. to actually look and see and actually listen to what was said and actually hear it and process it because he just took Jared with what Jared said and ran with it. And I'm like, come on, Red. And come look, on, Red. And now there's about 10 minutes left of the episode and we can't mm-hmm. leave this episode without picking a new HOH. Yes. And guess what? Y'all got the numbers. Y'all have the numbers. Y'all literally have the whole house. Cam is a lone wolf. Cam is a lone wolf. Jared is not competing. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? But y'all still have the numbers. We don't need one of y'all. We don't need one person on that team to win. We need any of y'all. Anybody over there. Any of y'all to win. (laughs) So please tell us, enlighten us on this competition. So this is a Humiliverse competition. Uh It's called Name That Toot. They Mm -hmm. show us um, two videos of people farting. And different colors come out of the farts of different people. Mm-hmm. So they have to remember this. And the answer options are true or false. Yeah. So we're going ahead and speed through to get to the final three who are left, which is Izzy, Corey, and Cam. Stop. Yeah. Y- y'all got the numbers. Mm-hmm. Y'all got the numbers by 66%. Yeah. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? And you know what's funny? 
when they asked the last question mm-hmm. and Cam turned over that thing so confidently. To false. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, he's going to do it. I was thinking the same thing too. I was like, he's going to do like before the answer even gave out. Uh-huh. I didn't know the answer. Yeah. But I just knew, but I but I just knew his answer was right. Yeah. And Izzy and Corey was the they both said true. Mm-hmm. Right? Man, when they said the correct answer is false, I was like, oh my gosh, y'all can't do <laughs> nothing right. <laughs> I was like, y'all literally cannot do anything right Mm -hmm. when y'all get the numbers y'all can't win the competitions to get hoh Mm -hmm. when y'all in the vetoes y'all can't win the vetoes to 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 basically keep people on the block Mm -hmm. y'all only been successful one time and that's heisem if y'all would have kept him there he would have been had red and cam out already yeah (laughs) you get what i'm saying yeah he would have been executed what y'all's trying to do exactly so (laughs) y'all y'all have a great player but y'all ain't got the muscle to do it Mm -hmm. because you got one boy over here that's that that basically a mom Thomas boy who's over here letting people say the n-word mm-hmm. and, and basically just spreading the information and just talking and he keeping his he, he can't keep his mouth shut for nothing mm-hmm. the mother gotta keep telling him every episode hey i hear you from across the room <laughs> be quiet yeah you know what i'm saying so it's like y'all just the worst possible outcome literally happened mm-hmm. literally and now cam is going to avenge mm-hmm. his boy yeah red yeah and truth be told <sighs> Who's gonna be on the block? Mm, that's the question. That is scary because he's got his pick of the litter, honey. I tell you this right now: it's not gonna be Corey. It's not gonna be America. It's gonna be one of the leaders of this Ledger Twenty Five group. Mm-hmm. It's definitely, to me, to my opinion, Jared is an automatic lock on the block. Mm. Automatic lock on the block. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Because you put me on the block, I gotta return the favor and put you on the block. Yeah, and I think he might be going up next to Sari or Felicia. I think it will be for Fel- ooh, it might be Izzy. It might be Izzy. It might be I Izzy, it, but it can't be Izzy. The mm-hmm. reason why it can't be Izzy because that's a win for Sari. Yeah, I don't want Sari to win. Mm-hmm. Oh, it might be. It's definitely gonna be Jared, in my opinion. Yeah, well, see, my thing is, I actually do like the side of the house with Sari. I think Sari is doing an amazing job she's with her playing social the game. game. She's playing I mean, I'm she, just, I'm just mad about Heisem. Yeah, she's like steamrolling the house without even winning nothing. I mean, that's crazy. But I always love an underdog story, and Cam is the underdog in this position at the moment. Nicole so. is the biggest underdog. Oh in yeah. It. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could root for you, Nicole, if you win something. Okay. But yeah, Cam is the underdog, and I just want to see how he's gonna flip this thing on his head this week. And the thing is, he is H O H. Everybody claps for him, but it was a little. They were scared. <laughs> <laughs> and he was over here talking about, "Well, I'll celebrate. I know you will, Cam." Listen here. And then we find out what else is uh, going on for the house. Everyone is have nots for the week mm. except for Cam. Mm. Vindication. Look, <laughs> the worst thing that could have happened happened. Mm-hmm. And now we get to see what's going to happen uh, in the next episode of Big Brother. Anything else you're looking forward to or anything that you have in the I just really want to see who's going to be on this block. I want to see how this house is going to flip. Is it going to make people break apart i feel like Corey and america they could really have their own type of thing going on and could possibly pull people over if they could just release that grip from sari felicia and izzy so mm. we'll see i think jared is definitely gonna be in the box a waste a waste of a block would be putting jared and jag up there that'd be a waste of a block yeah put put some spice to it put jared and sari yeah Ooh. yeah i mean one of y'all is definitely going home mm-hmm that means definitely at that point, I think they are going to what's the word? The only way Jared wins is if the mother's there. Mm-hmm. Jared can't survive on his own. No. Jared can't survive. Even though he got blue on his side, he he can't survive on his own. Mm-hmm. So Jared, listen, if I was Cam, I I sent a warning shot out there. Mm-hmm. I put in Jared. I'm putting Jared. Even though I, and granted, I'm only saying to read because I'm acting like I know from inside the house that they are things right. like that. But like but I don't, Cam doesn't know. I don't know. Mm-hmm. So guess what? Jared and Blue, y'all both on the block. Yeah. Like I'm that like, would make the most. sense. Yeah. I'm like, mm-hmm. no, I'm, I'm angry now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're <laughs> splitting this up. You split it, me and my bro. Yeah. I'm, I'm bring, splitting I'm you and your girl. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Blue and Jared, y'all both on the block. Yeah. And then we are gonna see Jared cry over this stranger for 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 three episodes and whatever. Yeah. Anything else? 
That is all. Y'all be good.